Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Pokemon TCGO video. Today guys, we have some talking to do. I have a league challenge today, so instead of going with new decks and new stuff, we're going back to my tried and true kind of, my go-to deck in standard, it's a league challenge today is standard, that I feel the most comfortable with. Now there's two decks that I go back and forth from liking, um, not liking, but just like, just thinking that it's the best out of them all. So this is my standard Tapu Bulu deck. I love Tapu Bulu. One of my favorite cards there's ever been. I just love that it can hit numbers. I love its GX move. And I love the fact that you could use Vikavolt to become good. Ever since I started opening Sun and Moon uh, packs, no one was using Vikavolt. And I'm like, someday this card is going to be so freaking good. And it finally came true. It, it needed some card. It needed Tapu Koko. It needed Tapu Bulu. I do not run Tapu Koko in this deck. I have not found the need to run Tapu Koko. With Tapu Bulu, I'm hitting all the numbers I actually need to. A lot of people do uh, additions to the, their decks, such as Aether Paradise Conservation Area. I have not found a need for that at all. This is my deck. This is what I like doing. Weird stuff that I add in here. Um... I'd say weirdest thing is three uh, VS Seekers, put a supporter card. Everyone knows about VS Seekers. I have found it more necessary to get set up early than it is later. So I like to add in three Leleys. I like three Leleys. I think it's very necessary. I want to get Bridget out first turn. And if I can't get Bridget out first turn, then I want to Lily first turn. Which Lily draw cards until you have six. If it is your first turn, you may draw eight. So that's what I like as my backup in case Bridget is prized. I always want to Bridget first turn so I get the... Um, Grubbin's down, so I'm able to get Vikavolt out as- I want to get Vikavolt out turn two. That's always been my goal. Um, things like Super Rod, Energy Recycler, very, 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 very necessary. Rescue Stretcher, not necessary in this deck. Three ends for consistency, four Sycamores for consistency. A lot of people are starting to run four ends. Uh, this deck, I have not found a need for it. Like I said, I have three Leleys, so I'm confident that I can get stuff out. And then two Skylas to be able to gra- sorry, I'm also shuffling. I'm sorry. Um, two Skylas, which is a weird addition. I think it's like John Roberts um, ran three Skylas in his Tapu Bulu deck, and he did really, really good with it. I don't think I need three. I, I like two. That's mainly to be able to get out. Like, let's say in my hand, I have a Vikavolt, but no rare candy. I'll be able to Skyla for a rare candy, or I'm Skyla for an Ultra Ball, or Skyla for a Heavy Ball to grab an um, Vikavolt, or even grab an Ultra Ball, or something like that. It's just the setters around consistency and then a 7-5 line of Grass Electric. I do like this deck. I've taken it to one League Cup so far, and I lost in the semifinals with it. That was the first round that I lost. I lost 2-1 to a Dark Reich Dragonair deck, which... Not happy about that at all. It just got off so fast, and it was, it was bad. Basically, it came down to who went first. Um, I lost the coin flip, so he was able to go first. He won the first round. I went first the second game. I won. He won first the third game. He won. It was just... It sucked a little bit for me. But yeah, that's that's the main goal is getting the stuff out as soon as possible. We're going to jump into a game. I have my coffee right here. It's early in the morning. I, I need it. Also, Mountain Mew. <laughs> it's not Mountain Dew. It's coffee. That's the joke. Okay, we're going to think it's a fairy deck. Um, may, Probably Xerneas. A lot of people are testing... Uh, Gardy, Gardevoir for Gardevoir GX, the new one that's coming out. Of course, I hit. I have two Charger Bugs in my deck. I have three Grubbins. We can't get three Grubbins. You're just gonna give me two Charger Bugs. I don't want them. Um, a lot of people are testing Gardevoir, Goliseopod, and those kind of cards. I have not seen a vi wow two Tapu Leles. Okay, well I mean that's it's better than just getting one I guess because I want to be done. I want to grab the Bridget out. Hopefully Bridget's not prized. If Bridget's prized, I can be in a lot of trouble here. Especially considering that I haven't gotten any um, other basics other than a Tapu Lele. I want to be able to get out two Grubbins this turn. A Tapu Bulu, not necessary, but would be nice. I just, I really want to get out the Bulus first. It looks like he's got a Xerneas Break deck. That's what I'm assuming as of right now. Alright, Lele, grab me. Do me a favor and grab me the uh, Bridget. Yes, okay, Bridget's not prized. We can check what is prized right now. Uh, two ends, one's in my hand. So one end is prized. Uh, one Sycamore is prized. Uh, one Ultra Ball. One VS. You can know that's in my hand. And two Grass Energies. Okay. So nothing too crazy. I did grab the Bridget, right? Oh, thank God. I didn't remember actually clicking on it. Oh, that scared me for a second. I, I tried putting it down on my bench. Um, I want two Grubbins and a Bulu. I'm just going to... 
throw this on you and throw that on you and pass so now what we gotta hope to get is an ultra ball heavy ball or something that we can grab and i, I would pr much prefer an ultra ball to be able to well i prefer heavy ball i guess but ultra ball to be able to get rid of these two grab the vicavolt hit rare candy and get them up if i hit a skyla as well that would be nice um like i said there's a lot of outs in this deck which makes it very very consistent so even if I do decide to end or Sycamore or whatever I decide on doing, Lysander, is he going to grab? Okay, you can grab a Grubbin. I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, Field Blower is going to be nece or important during this game. That's fine. The Choice Band is not going to come in handy this game. Unless he's got Gardevoir, which I kind of doubt it. Is he gonna? He's not going to be able to knock me out. He's going to Geomancy. Is he going to be able to knock me out? How exactly does his... How does his uh, live stream work? This attack does 20 damage times all the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So right now it's doing 60. So yeah, he's not knocking me out, so his best bet is to Geomancy. He's gonna Ultra Ball and probably grab another Xerneas. He got rid of a Xerneas Break and a Fairy Energy. This deck centers around energy... Oh, he's going to Tabulele, that's smart. Um, energy Acceleration, which is a little difficult if you're slow, like I am. My deck is not particularly fast, so I need to be able to hit... Field blowers to get rid of the experience share, knock out important, uh, important Pokemon like Xerneas Break here. I have to take cheap prize cards and try knocking out this Tapu Lele to get two of them instead of one because, okay, he's just going to Geomancy. Did he already... He Lysandered, yeah. No, he can't use Sycamore. Okay, whatever. Um, That's fine. It's kind of nice that he has the... I'm going to throw you down. I'm going to Sycamore here. I don't want he's got he's got all he's got in his hands is sycamore which we know he's gonna have something but i don't want to give him this the all the cards i'm just gonna sycamore hopefully we get a rare candy back no but not the worst in the world we'll take that and we'll attach we'll get everything else set up not the best start we've had but it's still doable it's still manageable look at my hair my hair's a mess this morning sorry i'm focusing on my hair too much look at this I don't know why it's doing that. He's just going to stick him more. So let's see what card he's going to get rid of. He's going to be a Xerneas Break. Nope. He's gotten rid of one Xerneas Break, one Max Elixir. The Field Blower that he got rid of is nice because it's less likely that he'll have another one now. He's getting set up very well. Oh, he missed the Max Elixir. Beautiful. That might be important. He is knocking out my Grubbin right now. Um, he is doing 100, 140. Dang, okay. Ideally here, he knocks out my Grubbin, I bring up Tapu Bulu, and I grab a Lysander. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm really, really hoping for right now. Yeah, that's all I can do. I'm going to have the Vicavolt out, no issues, but Lysander? Nope, okay. Um, let's Vicavolt before we Lily, because that's what we have to do right now. We're going to get this guy set up. I want to hit a... I would absolutely love hitting a field blower right now. Did not hit it. I asked. I asked nicely, but it did not give it to me. Um, I cannot grab Grubbin. Do I have any reason to... Yeah, I, I'm just going to put Bulu down in case he does end me. I'm going to Heavy Ball because Heavy Ball is going to be useless during this entire battle now. And I'm going to grab Charge Bug just because. <laughs> There's no reason to do it. It's just really because. Um, Nature's Judgment for Knockout. Yes. I didn't... Okay. I played that a little incorrectly. Yeah, I did. I didn't think of... I attached the grass energy to Bulu without really fully thinking that through. Okay, I drew one in. Because next turn, if I didn't draw a grass energy, or like end to get a grass energy, I wouldn't be able to Nature's Judgment, because I only have one Vicavolt set up. So that would have kind of sucked, but I think we're fine. Now I would really, really love to hit a lovely... Okay, that's that's that kind of sucks, actually. Please give me something that I could just do stuff with. Give me a hand that I could do stuff with. Okay, that works. That works fine. How much HP do you have? 130. God dang it. Why can't you have 120? He's probably... Does he not have a fairy energy? Don't have a fairy energy. If you don't have a fairy energy, you're falling behind. If he can't Geomancy... Yes, okay. That was big. Um, what I'm gonna do here, Field Blower, get rid of these two. That's gonna be really important. That's gonna be a big boy play right there. Um, I'm gonna Sycamore. There's no reason not to Sycamore here. He's got nothing in his hand as of right now, because he obviously didn't do anything. He might have, like, a Sycamore end in there, but right now I'm not worried about anything in my hand or what he has in his hand. Um, I need a Grass Energy. Beautiful. And now I need to knock out, um... 
Um, mm, please have. Okay, good. I need to knock out his Lele. I really want to knock out his Lele. And how many energies do I have in here? Three. Perfect. Okay. Super Rod, get those. No. No. Grubbin, you stay there. Get these back in there. We have not used our Energy Recycler, and we not have not se have seen our Brock's Grit either, which I don't think I actually explained. Yes. Uh, I didn't really want to get rid of those energies because it's going to be difficult to get. Give me Grass Energy. I know I have one more in there, too. Um, it's going to be hard to get the last energy on him, mainly because... I want to Lysander this turn. I probably should have actually used my GX move there, which is weird, but that 130 just ruins it for me. It makes it very weird and difficult to knock out Pokemon. So if I was able to... Oh, wait, I could... Oh, if he doesn't end me here, I could Floatstone on the Bulu, retreat out to him, do that, and Lysander out the Lele. If I get rid of the Lele, that's two prizes, and that's getting rid of a lot of his damage. That's getting rid of 60 of his damage. And a DCE. And then, dang it! Okay, give me a Grass Energy. Just That's all I ask for. I'm, I, I keep shuffling. I like shuffling too much. I'm sorry. I think you guys can hear it. Grass Energy, no Grass Energy. But that's not the end of the world. If we hit a Grass Energy... Do I already have a Lysander in here? No, I don't. Okay. So I'm fine to Sycamore. I have two Lysanders in this deck. If I get rid of one, I'm fine. Dang it. Okay. Um. I can't Skyla to grab... I could... I get Skylar to guard the Floatstone. Let's do that. I do have enough energy in here. Yes, I do. I have more than enough energy. Brock's Grit, are you prized? No, you're not. Okay. Brock's Grit, if you guys don't know, it's shuffle six of any combination of energy and Pokemon back into your deck. So, right there, I could have... You guys understand why that's useful. I go through a lot of energy in this deck. A lot of energy. So, now that we're able to get this on here, I want to just not... Actually... No, I use Skyla this turn. H, you're an idiot. Okay. I didn't think that one through. In my head, I'm like, Skyla's not a supporter. It's too early. Now, do I go for the GX move and just knock him out? Okay, if I go for the GX move... No. Just, just straight up nature's judgment. Let him survive. The reason I'm doing that is because he's not a threat right now. The only thing he might be able to do is Geomancy, which if he does, it's whatever. I don't really care that much. Um, and that leaves him with 30 HP left, right? He has 150. Yeah, he's at 150. So my one Grass Energy move with Tapu Bulu will be enough to knock him out. So if later on in the game I'm not able to, to keep recycling through the energy, I'll be able to knock him out. Is he going to bring up this Bulu? Yeah, he is. Okay. Dang it, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> This got a little bit more difficult. I wish he did not lie Sander there. I think he's got the Mewtwo. What does Mewtwo counter? I don't know what Mewtwo would counter in that scenario. I actually really have no clue. Um, I think I just straight up Sycamore here. That's my only option. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear my washing machine. I'm washing clothes right now. Because I'm a man. How many... We only have three in there, so there's no point in using that. Let's... I mean, this is kind of why I got him to fit uh, 120. Just so that I could for sure knock him out with uh, Horn Attack. I wish he didn't do that still, because I wanted to Lysander and grab the Tapu Lele. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, how much is he doing right now? It does 20 times, so... 20, 80 total, 120, 140. If he gets down another DCE, and, well, he can't, because he has to get two fairy energy on you. Oh, wait, he's got the choice pad. Never mind. As long as he gets a fairy energy, he's knocking out my Bulu. Yeah, if he gets a fairy energy, it's doing 160, 190 with the choice band. But if he doesn't hit the choice band or max elixir here, let's see. Does he hit anything? He's got nine cards remaining. I don't know why that's bothered. Why I've never had my hair do that before. Why are you doing that? Why are you being so extra today? If he doesn't have a fairy energy, I win. Because I'll take a prize and then I can... Okay, he's got the fairy energy. He's knocking out my Bulu, so that's going to put him at three as well. But... Oh, please attach. Please... Oh, okay, that, that works too. I want him to attach to the Lele and just me be able to knock him out. 
We're still at a fine scenario right now. Um, yeah, he has to. He has to knock out two lice or two of my GX Pokemon without issue. I want to keep. This is gonna be a weird play. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but we're doing it. I want to keep my energies on him. So I am just going to Tapu Wilderness GX. Which is weird, I know, but I want to make sure we knock him out and I keep my energies on him. Because it's going to be extremely hard for him to knock me out this turn. And if he doesn't end me this turn, I have the grass energy to get on Bulu and knock out whoever I want to knock out. And also, if I can, I can get more energies on Lele. I don't think I have any more VS Seekers. Yeah, I'm out of VS Seekers because I only run three. And I'm out of Lysanders. So I have to knock out this uh, Xerneas, who is doing 130 to me right now. With the Choice Band, of course. Um, I think we're fine. I think I have this one. I just knock out one of his Pokemon. They have 150, 120, 130. Dang it. 120. Why do you have to be so extra, Mewtwo? I'm trying to think. Okay, so obviously you're using him for the Psychic uh, move. 20 plus. For each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I can't think of a deck that heavily relies that like you can one shot with that. Like of course there's the old Mega Mewtwo deck that you use that Mewtwo to counter, but no one runs that anymore. So I don't think that's a good addition. I don't know, I might be just missing something blatantly obvious that like Garbodor. But the thing with Garbodor is it'll only have one energy on it. Yeah, and then it just one shots you right back. Right now he's doing 170. Please don't max elixir. Not the knockout. Okay, sweet. I just needed him not to end. And then we knock out with Nature's Judgment for the win. I like this deck. I feel like it's very consistent. I feel confident with it too. That's like the big thing with it. If you feel confident, you'll do well with it. It's not 100% true, but I feel like I'll do better if I'm confident with it, and I feel confident with it. That's our first win of the day! I got 50 coins. It is so on, Zaz. You and your water, electric, fire, psychic deck. I'm assuming you have a Tapu Koko promo somewhere in there. Probably a Lola Ninetales. With, maybe it's... I have no idea. Maybe it's uh, Rainbow Road? That could very well be the option. I failed on my coin flip. I'm sorry, Zaz172981. Uh, but hopefully, he doesn't have anything too nutty that I just don't know what to expect. That was a good start, though. Even though we didn't get, like, a Lele or something like that, or a Bridget, that's still, like, a good start that I could end and hopefully grab another Grubbin. Link, what are you doing? He's play he, he steals his bed from his kennel, he rips it out, and now he brings it over to me, and he messes around with it. What are you running? Umbreon, Espeon... Freaking from hell? I still don't even know what you're running because you put a DCE on him. Every single like EV deck that has an EV runs freaking DCEs on it. Okay, now Bridget's coming out. Is this like a Zoroark deck or something? Zoroark Umbreon? Because that's actually a pretty decent deck. And that kind of sucks for me because I don't run Kakui in this deck anymore. I took it out because it wasn't doing much, but it makes sense to have Kakui for Espeon and Umbreon to be able to hit that 200 with a one shot. Mm. But hopefully it's not a Zoroark deck. I don't know how I fare against a Zoroark deck. I haven't seen much of a. It's where was the wa? Oh, ah, I figured it out. Okay, so he's gonna have like the evolutions like Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon in this deck. That's where that stuff came from. All right, it all makes sense now. I figured it out. Um, do I care much about that? No. I'm just gonna end. It's not worth field blowing and getting uh, stuff in there. I have to save the field blowers for uh, float stones that he put on his trubbishes so he turns off abilities. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to grab a grubbin. I have two Lele's prize? No, I have one Lele prize. Oh, that scared me for a second. Okay. So we just horn attack. Which, if he does get an Espeon or Umbreon out, as long as he doesn't turn off my abilities, I should be good to go. I mean, obviously, I could get an unfortunate draw here, but I do have a Skyla and Sycamore still in the discard pile. And he's not knocking... He's doing 120. Yeah, that's why I want to save Field Blower, to knock off the Floatstones that he's going to be attaching to that freaking guy. 
Garboder. Oh, we didn't get it on him, though. So that's doing 120, correct? Yep. Okay. Link is going nuts. Um, I think I just want to straight up Sycamore here. Uh, yeah. This is going to be tough, actually. I have to get a very, very, very good draw here. I just want to stick him more. I should probably place down the Lele. Yeah, no, I'm gonna place down the Lele so I get rid of one stick of more, one more stick of more in my deck. It's that's, I know that's a weird play, but it's gonna be a, l it might be necessary. So I thinned out my deck a tiny, tiny bit, and I like having Lele on my bench too. I wish I attached the Grass Energy to him. I hate Rare Candy, but no Heavy Ball or Ultra Ball, of course. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, that's, hmm. Uh, next turn, I will be able to... Skyla. Next turn, I'll be able to Skyla and grab a Heavy Ball. Grab a Vicavolt. Rare Candy, the Grub into a Vicavolt, Vault, and then live happily ever after. Oh, I forgot about Divide GX! God dang it, okay. We have to make some big plays here. I, I want to draw into a Vicavolt Vault so bad right now. Draw into a Vicavolt Vault or a Tapu Bulu, I need it. He did six and he's gonna attach four to that Grubbin. Uh, we're behind so early and we are using a few a couple items here. I still want to use my rare candies. Ah, oh, dang it, divide. Well, at least I got him to use his GX move. Okay, that works. Okay, uh, Sycamore, Bridget. We're gonna get the Vicavolt out, which is good. Which is very, very good. Rare candy, you. I'm doing that because I have the thing already on him. Now, so if I attach a choice band to him, he's doing 40, 70, 90, 130, which is not a knockout. 150 if I attach one to him. Yeah, there's no way I'm knocking him out. So I am just... I'm going to attach it to him regardless. Because I have no reason not to. Um, I'm going to Sycamore here. I need to hit a Bulu. I need to hit a Bulu and a Grass Energy. Okay. Like I said, I need to hit a Bulu and a Grass Energy. I'm not able to retreat the Lele, which is an issue. But we can play around this. I don't like how many uh, items I'm putting in my discard pile either. I'm going to do that. And we're going to Strong Charge and get these two on Lele. And we're going to attack. So that le at least we're doing some damage. Not enough to knock him out, but we're getting close to it. 130. Yeah, so like even if I attach there, he'd be at 180, which is not helping at all. Uh, this is not looking too good. Garboder, I normally do very well against with this deck, but I'm not hitting the cards I need to hit, which does happen. Altar of the Moon is not helping that either. VS Seeker. I mean, that's... Why did he VS Seeker for Bridget? What? Oh, what? That was just a waste. Why did you just Ultra Ball away the VS Seeker? <laughs> what just happened? All right, how many items have I got? Uh, five, six, seven. So his Garbodor is doing 140, 170 if he has a Choice Band on, which is not a knockout, which is lucky. So it was doing 80, 110. I have to take a knockout here. Yeah. I have to take a knockout, so I have to get this Bulu set up. And I don't want to use any more items. I, I can't afford to use any more items. 
Yeah, I have to just take the knockout. Get rid of the energy so the Espeon isn't knocking me out. The way he can knock out my Bulu is if he hits a Field Blower and a Choice Band. He needs both. Which is a little unlikely. Little more likely now that he got the top Ulele out. So I'll probably grab a Sycamore here. Or a Skyla if he has one of the two. Sycamore, okay. So that means he doesn't have one of the two, which is good for me. Hopefully he just sycamore Sycamores and doesn't do anything. But he also does need a uh, Psychic Energy. Okay, he got rid of an, uh, another Garbodor, okay. I didn't know quite what he was going to do there. I was a little confused. I needed my coffee before that. I should be able to survive this hit, regardless, and be able to top a Wilderness and knock out something. Preferably, if I'm able to, well, he's not ending me. So, if he is going to knock me out or do some big damage with the Garbodor, I want to Lysander, grab this guy, knock him out, take the two prizes, hopefully get another Tapu Bulu out. Because if I could just overwhelm him... He left him in. I don't even have to Lysander. What? Okay, um, hold on. Five, so 100, 120, 140. That's it, right? He needs to hit big stuff on his turn. Please have... Okay, thank God. I have no more grass energies in there. I need to top a wilderness here. Um... I wish that I was able to get a choice band on Bulu right now. Because then I would Lysander and grab him and knock him out. But I'm just going to top a wilderness. I want to top a wilderness and knock something out. But that was my best bet, even though that was weird. Give me, give me Bulu. Give me Bulu. Yes! Okay, we got Bulu. Now, the other thing is I need to get energy. Okay, he needs to hit a field blower. I don't think he's used. He might have used one. He hasn't used one yet. He's definitely got at least two in his deck. There's no way you run Garbodor without it. Okay, frick. I need to hit like a Sycamore or VS Seeker or something. I need to be able to grab stuff out again. Or Brock's Grit. That helps. That helps. I think we just won. No, we didn't just win yet, but we got close. That was. That was too perfect. We Skyla, please have the Heavy Ball. Yes! Heavy Ball. We Heavy Ball. We grab Bulu. We Super Rod. We get those in there. We Strong Charge. We get those on the Bulu. Oh, I pulled this game out somehow. I don't think he can win this now. Nature's Judgment. Uh, no. Keep the energies on there just in case he Lysanders to grab the other one. He can't divide GX either. Because he already used it. We hit the Lele. Oh, that is amazing too. Okay. So that, if he ends us down to one card, we still have an out. Or a, another out with the Lele being unprized now. Ooh, okay. Okay. As long as he doesn't Hex Maniac here... If he has Maniacs, I, I need to draw into a Grass Energy or a Sycamore or something. Or an N. Like, I need to be able to get something to get cards back out. Or, oh, he hasn't hit a Float Stone yet. Oh, crap. All he needs to do... Well, I have a Field Blower! I have a Field Blower! I am not... I am not thinking this fully through. Oh, that's fine! He didn't end me. Okay. Hopefully, I have something in my deck to be able to grab stuff out. All right, Bulu. All right, Bulu. <laughs> the cheekiness. I got everything I ever desired in this world. I got, I could have like, okay, let's see. Well, now I could just grab the energy. I had all this stuff to go through. I'm fine. Now that I drew into the field blower, I was able to also Vicavolt there. There was no chance I was losing. Oh, I just, I, that wasn't to be like bad mannered or anything like that to go through. I just wanted to see what I would have grabbed and it would have been a Sycamore. Oh my god. Oh, that was beautiful. I love going up against Garboder because it's always such a mind game. And he wasn't hitting the floatstones in time.
And I hit that field blower perfect timing too. Red Fox Ore is running Water, Normal, Dark, and Psychic. Another, this is like Drampa, Umbreon. Actually, that would make sense with the, I was going to say Drampa, Gar, uh, Drampa, Zoroark, uh, Garbodor. But the Psychic is probably Tapu Lele, so I'm guessing, Z oh, god dang it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna, well, it's not the worst. Did I go first or did I go second? Because I do have an Ultra Ball, so I'll be able to grab out a Lele, as long as both of them aren't prized, and grab a Bridget, hopefully that not being prized as well. Oh, thank god I drew into that too. Um, let's get rid of Sycamore and the Charger Bug, because those aren't going to be too necessary. Okay, Lele and Bridget, don't be prized. Ah! Ah! I love it. Okay, Lele. And now we'll be able to get out our, pretty much our ideal start to this game. Um, Bulu, two Bulus now, and one Grubbin. So I have two Grubbins on the bench and two Bulus and then two Leles. That's normally how I want. I would have preferred having a, um, I would have preferred having, having a, like, a Grass Energy or something in my deck just to get it on my Bulu as soon as possible. I keep shuffling. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm sorry. It's an, it's an addiction. It's an addiction for me. Let's see if I was right with the Zoroark. I think he's going to lay, lay, grab Lele and grab a Bridget here if he does have the Zoroark. Um, unless, of course, it's, something's prized. But if he is running a Zoroark deck, you want to get as many Zoroas down as early as possible. And also a Drampa. And, yeah, the, no, just a Zoroa. Does he have the Lele already? Does he have the Bridget already? What is... That's a weird turn. <laughs> Don't quite know what to say about that. Um, hopefully we can Lily into a Rare Candy. Nope, would have been too nice. Would have been way too nice to have come true. Alright, done. Next turn we'll have a Vicabolt out and we'll be able to get Lele out and have no issues getting our Bulu set up. Which is good. Uh, we had a good start. Preferably we would have hit a... Uh, it's not a big deal that we didn't hit the Vicavolt this early on. He got the Zoroark up. He got the... Yeah, he's definitely running Dramp on this deck. You don't run Rainbow Energy. Wow, I'm sorry, bro. You should have Lay Light and grab a Bridget. If you had that many Zor... You had three Zoroarks in your hand. If you got three Zor... Oh, perfect. That couldn't have gone much better. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Attached to you, Vigavolt for Grass Electric. Attach that to you and you. And we get to Sycamore and get rid of a Grubbin, which is not going to be handy anymore. Hopefully we run into another Vigavolt. Two Vigavolts in one turn. Okay, I don't need to Heavy Ball anymore. I'm actually going to use it and just grab Bulu. Th there's no point in grabbing Bulu. I just want to thin out my deck to hopefully get something a little bit better. Um, retreat. Out to you. And I'm going to use Strong Charge again and get this boy back here set up. Because why not? I think, I think he... No. No. Zorak breaks an issue for this deck. Oh, it's a big issue for this deck. Especially if that I'm not running Fighting Fury Belts. Zorak break can copy um, your moves. So, he, as long, if he has a Zorak break in there... He knocks out my Bulu. This is my I'm nervous face. Don't have a Zorak break. Don't have an Ultra Ball. Have nothing. Just Sycamore. Just Sycamore and get rid of all those cards. You don't need those cards. Y you don't need those cards. If he has a Zorak break, he knocks out my Bulu, but I'm able to bring up my Bulu and knock out his Zorak break. Also, if he gets a Choice Band, he knocks me out. Okay, so I, 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 I haven't played Zorg in a while, and I'm misplaying quite a bit right now. All he needs is a Zorg break, an Ultra Ball, or a Choice Band. Because right now he's doing 160 with his Mind Jack, because it does 30 time, or it does 10 plus 30 for each. Yeah, there's the Ultra Ball. I'm assuming he's grabbing uh, his Zorg break. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Um, if he does grab a Zorak break, can I knock out a Pokemon with Tapu Lele? If he grabs Zorak break, he's got 140 HP. I need to do 130. He's got 60 on him right now. I'd be doing... I can, and I think I have to. 
I can knock out with one of my Vicka Volts, but I don't know if that's a smart move. But he's not going to be able to knock out one of my Pokemon, one of my Bulus, with Zoroark next turn. He's knocking me out here. And he did that. Oh, yeah, he's getting rid of his energies, too. Okay, so, yeah, Tabu Lele is definitely not an option here. I have to bring up my Bulu. Um, Vickavolt might be able to... Well, he wouldn't be able to get knocked out. I am going to end here. I'm not going to place down another Bulu. I don't want to fill up my bench anymore. I misplayed this game pretty hard early on. Um, I'm going to Energy Recycler here as well. Oh, missing out on one energy, but that's not the end of the world. I do have a Brax Grit in my hand, too, so I could keep on getting stuff on. I am going to attach these two to Lele, so I have them somewhat set up right now. I don't want to attach more, just in case. Um, I have to Nature's Judgment for 180. God dang it. A lot of Pokemon have 130 remaining for me today. And I have to use the, the freaking big move in order to knock him out, which sucks. Another Vickable that's not useful at all. I may... I may just Brock's Grit here, depending. Let's see, does he have anything to put on his bench? Because if he doesn't, then I just win. Especially considering I have Brock's Grit. Rescue Stretcher? Okay, he's probably going to just grab a Zorua, I'm assuming. Because he can't grab a Break, because then that, uh, I'm knocking him out this turn. I'm knocking him out one way or another. Okay, he's just putting them back in the bench. Or back in his deck. Does he have Choice Band? That's doing 160. Does he have a Kakui? Don't have a Kakui. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if he had a Kakui, then he's knocking me out. Oh, I would have been... Well, I would have won if he had a Kakui. If he's not able to get anything on his bench, I win. Which is kind of weird. Which, well, I was... Okay, he got the Drampus. He got two Drampus down. And he got that down. Okay. I think we're actually fine now. Um, we're going to Brox Grit here. Get those three. I have to do six. God dang it. I have to get all these back in there. That's never fun. Okay. I want to Strong Charge. Get those two on Bulu. I want to Strong Charge and get Grass Energy on Bulu. And Electric Energy on my Vicavolt. Because I want him to play the 7 prize game in this game. And now I just want to top a wilderness. Get rid of all the damage. And I think we're fine. I think we made it out alive. I'm I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing right now. Um, I think what he has to do is sacrifice a Drampa right now. Because he knows I'm able to knock him out. So I think he's got to set up this Drampa back here. He did not set up. He's going to be big wheel GX. Okay. I think we're fine. I think I, I have this one. I think it's too far gone right now. I am just going to straight up all, uh, Sycamore. I don't want anything else on my bench. I'm fine. I That's actually some good stuff. Am I able to get any energy back? Nope. I am going to strong charge this onto him. And next turn, I'll be able to Super Rod and grab back those energies and attach them back to Bulu. As long as he doesn't Hex Maniac or anything like that, we're fine. Ultra Ball and Fuel Blower. Okay. I, th I think I have this 101. <laughs> that was just... I got scared there for a second with uh, me not fully thinking this plan through. Best of three series, I know... Like, I was able to pull this one off. I was going to win. Unless he Hex Maniac me there and somehow was able to stall me out. Um, which would have been very, very difficult for him. Especially considering that he had no Pokemon with damage on his bench. Um, he wasn't going to be able to be able to be berserking for 150, 180 for the knockout with Choice Band. Um, but yeah, we won three games. Huh, that was good. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy it. That's what I'm going to a League Challenge today with. My Tapu Bulu deck. I, I love it. I, I do feel very consistent with it. I don't know what my... I haven't paid any attention to Tapu Bulu's um, stats, or my stats with him. 62 and 101, I f 10 in the last 12. That makes more sense. I feel like I've gotten a lot more consistent with that. Let me pull up the math. That's going to be like 61%. Well, yeah, it's, it's basically, I'm going to say 61% because it's at 100 overall played. But I feel like I'm able to win consistently 2 out of 3. Like, that's the big thing. Like, I, I feel like it's very hard for me to lose 
two out of three games against someone who I know they're do what they're doing. There's not any straightforward counters to this deck. The only counters that are really hard to beat are Garbodor that I that I keep attaching floatstones and I'm able to field blow them away, but they're able to come back. That's the only thing I struggle against. Um, but like we played Garbodor today, I was able to beat it because they weren't getting any floatstone downs. If they're not doing that, then I'm able to beat them. Uh, Torrid Reckliff, who just won Internationals, I think run four float stones. So I would have struggled heavily against that deck. Um, but I feel like I would have been able to win at least one against him. I feel like I could have pulled it off. But that's th that's not enough to win the match. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Get out of here. <gasps> <laughs> you knuckleheads.